I hate spiders. So why did you want to make a spider? I didn't want to, I, this is your idea. <laughs> Jay was looking at spider reference online and got the creeps. She's like, what? It's a picture. It's not, you it's understand. It's not real. <laughs> you know what I mean. Like close up pictures of black widows and stuff. Anyway, yeah, let's make one. So our spider is going to have four main parts. The body and the legs and eyes and fangs. <laughs> four parts. <laughs> We are uh, spider experts. Should we get started with the body? <laughs> yes. Okay. Are there spiders in those gloves? There might be. I'm always afraid there's gonna be a spider in the glove. Remember in that movie? Arachnophobia? Yes. Yes. That's because spiders live in your slippers now and <laughs> want waiting to kill you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Oh Bill. <laughs> Something happened. Don't I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have to cut a lot of goggles or something on. This stuff is sharp and fast. Fast. Yeah. Maybe a little. Okay. That seemed pretty good. Yeah. When you buy chicken wire, it comes all wrapped up in wire. So this makes perfect, like, we like cut little pieces of it that we can twist around to lock this together. When you twist up your thing, you want pointy pieces on the inside. That way they don't stab you when you grab it. Now we have to make this into a sphere because we're doing kind of like a Black Widow, which has this big old round butt. Look at that. Look at that thing. That is terrifying. Yeah, look at that. This big thing, 90% sure it's full of venom. So we cut a couple pieces and we're gonna attach them to the sides, create a little more volume. Ow. Okay, I got it. We have a beautiful sphere. <laughs> that is more of a pillow. This is gonna work. Mm -hmm. The plan is turn this into a spider shape. <laughs> okay, let's just start sculpting. Okay. Okay, this isn't so bad. Okay. <laughs> Look, I mean, it's, I mean, this it's- This is definitely- It's round -ish. Slowly becoming spherical. This is all gonna work out, okay? Just trust me. Watch, okay. <laughs> we need to mark where the stinger is, which is, th this is the stinger. Look, see? So this is the back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> you know what, spiders don't stop pee. <laughs> Focus, oh, okay. Jamie. This is a fantasy spider. He's, he's good. I'm, I'm gonna call him done. We have a spider body. Yay! We have the, the thing and the thing and the... <laughs> the thing, it's a spider. Parts of spider. We're gonna spray spray foam on him, but if we spray it on like this, it's just gonna all fall through the holes. So we're gonna cover it in saran wrap. All right. He's more round with the stuff on him. It's time to make a huge mess. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So we're just gonna use expanding foam and spray our entire spider with a foam that we can sculpt and shape a little bit. It's waterproof. It's also very, very messy. Woo! All right. We gotta wait till this dries till tomorrow and then we're gonna flip it over and do the bottom side. We're playing the lumpy spider drums. Look. He's got a bottom and he's like super light, which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so we have built Mr. Spider up or Mrs. Spider. Is it Mrs. Spider? I feel like it should be a female. A female spider? Yeah. Okay. So what should his name be? I don't know. What? Uh, Gertrude. Gertie? Gertie. Gertie. <laughs> Why is that the is. first name that came to mind? I don't okay. know. It's... Gertie. All right. So we built up Gertie. Now we get to shave her down. You guys remember these? The shape is actually working. I think it's yeah. like starting to look. I'm very happy with it. It's round and he's getting more symmetrical. This foam is nasty when you shave it, so make sure you wear a mask. Since our spider is gonna have like eight foot long legs, we don't want it to be all in one solid piece. So what we want is detachable legs. What we're gonna do is use these PVC connectors. They're gonna get embedded in there and then it'll just connect. And then when we're done with Halloween, they come right out. The holes are cut. We also figured out what angle we want each of the legs to be. And now the plan is to stick them basically right in the middle and just fill in around with spray foam and then up and over the top once they're secured in place. So we let the foam dry and we shaped it a little bit with the Sureform tool and it looks great. It worked great. Look, this is super strong. These legs are not going anywhere. There's a bunch of like holes and unevenness and you know, flaws with the spider, but it's okay. It's not a movie prop, it's a Halloween prop, and it's okay. <laughs> 
If you were concerned with making him more even, we could like fill him with more foam and carve and foam and carve. There's a ton of things you could do if you really wanted to make like a really smooth, shiny, flawless Black Widow. We don't, it's okay. Now we're gonna cover Gertie with a <laughs> coat of dry lock. This, oh, that's heavy. This stuff here, it's like a masonry waterproof sealer thing. It's the same stuff we used on the dark portal and on our tombstones. So we know it works really well over foam. So let's get it on there. A little less than half a can of the dry lock to cover this whole thing. It'll be dry by the morning. We'll see what it looks like. While we wait for spider body to dry, we're gonna make spider legs. This is pipe insulation, and we got three different thicknesses because spider legs have like, big part is like beefy, and then the middle part's middle, and then the small part's small. And this stuff, I think it's 12 gauge yes, wire. Yes, it is. That goes inside the legs to help form them. You could bend it. This is the same stuff we used on the skeleton. We use this all the time. I think you can also use pool noodles if you don't want to get pipe insulation. That is a great option though. So, Are they cheaper than this stuff? Yes. Spider has eight legs. Each leg has three main sections. So we're gonna have 24 pieces, which means we have two of each thickness on each, you know what I mean. We're gonna use a piece of one inch PVC that's gonna go into those leg things that we embedded in the foam. So we gotta cut eight pieces to cut them. If you have power tools, by all means use those. If you don't, a hacksaw is pretty cheap, easy to use, and you can cut PVC with it. Boom, so we got this. It's gonna stick out about an inch so that it can plug into that guy. We can detach it at the end of the season and store everything easy. We cut the armature for our legs. Now we have to attach these two together. What we're gonna do for that is use a little super glue. And then once we super glue it, we're gonna wrap it in tape just to be extra, extra careful. <laughs> kind of like roasting marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> totally. This is a leg. This is a spider leg. What? We've been bending them into what I think are gonna be the shape. These will get adjusted once we get them on the body. We can cut a wedge out of this so it matches with that. How about right there? Is that pretty good? That'll be okay. This is contact cement, so I'm going to put it on each edge of the pipe, let it dry, and then once it's dry, stick it together and it sticks instantly. Instantly. Instant stickage. All right, look at that, it worked. <laughs> Seams line up, right? Yes. So we have to like squish it in there and then release it to its final home. <laughs> squish it in, in there. Done. Done. Boom. Spider leg. That worked, that right? great. Yeah, no, yeah? I think that's great. Let's do it again. Okay. So at the bottom, we've got this PVC, which holds it into the body. And then you've got three leg sections. We've got a little joint and this got tapered. We also tapered the bottom of the spider's leg by cutting out a long V and then using the contact cement to stick it back together. So we painted Gertie with a couple coats of spray paint. Now, one thing to note, if you didn't cover your spider in dry lock, do a test, because there's a chance your spray paint may eat the foam. And if that's the case, use latex paint and not spray paint. So now that the legs are done, it's time to work on Gertie's face. She needs eyes and fangs, and then those little things that go next to the fangs that are like, beep, 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 beep. I don't know what they're called. I was at Goodwill the other day, looking through other Halloween stuff, seeing if there's any extra props we could use, and we found these really cool little clear Christmas ornaments, and they come apart, and they're perfect. We can paint the insides of them, and they go like that. So once again, we found a bunch of cool stuff at Goodwill. They're a great place, not only for just Halloween props, but things you can use to make your Halloween props with. We masked off the outside with tape. And then on the inside, we hit it with a couple coats of spray paint. Super easy, fast, and gives them a really cool look. There once was a sh spider put to see the... Sorry. We painted it again. We painted it shiny, shiny black. Now we're gonna dry brush him with this beautiful shade of brown. That is beautiful brown. <laughs> so that's gonna help bring out some of his texture and make some kind of lighter spots on the head and the back. And we'll, see what, we'll see how it goes. I say that a lot. It's gonna go great. Do you remember these? Painted the inside, so now they're still shiny on the top, but black inside. We also made these, which are the creepy things that go on the front of the spider. We basically made them the same exact way we made the legs. So we just took three different sizes of this pipe, cut them at an angle, stuffed them inside. We actually put a little wire inside to give it a bit of a bend, gave it a bit of dry brushing, and now we gotta stick them on the face. And finally, the fangs. Those are gonna go on too. I love super glue. The way we're gonna attach the eyes is basically just to cut a slit in the foam 
couple dabs of super glue, and then just sort of jam it in there so that it looks like it's embedded. That looks phenomenal. Glad this worked. Now I gotta do seven more. Thanks again for watching, you guys. Until next time, stay wicked.